Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Mitchell here with uh, CMG Guitars. That's uh, Chris Mitchell Guitars, for those of you guys wondering. Um, I am here to talk to you today a little bit about Russell Jones'... Uh, it's not his first guitar, but it's the one that um, he decided to build to pattern our uh, Kimberly model after. And this, uh, this, this particular model he built in Colorado with um, Robbie O'Brien, is that correct? And um, he actually built it using um, the LMI package at the string at the steel string course that he did with Robbie O'Brien. And the cool thing about this one is is that um, I want to let you guys know a little bit about it before I start playing. Uh, this particular one, um, he actually uh, uses a pre-catalyzed lacquer. We we use a pre-catalyzed lacquer on our guitar because in Georgia, obviously, we deal with a lot of the heat and humidity. And it just takes way too long for nitro to dry. And uh, if you just go with the basic nitro cellulose, it's not uh, nitro cellulose. It's not pre-catalyzed. It just takes way too long to dry. So we use a pre-cat lacquer to do it. And Russell, um, on my Kimberly model, he did a satin back and sides. But on his, he did uh, high gloss the, the whole way. And it looks great. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and play a little bit for you and uh, let you hear the differences. That's a great, uh, these guitars are, um, I, I just got done doing a video with mine, and it's really hard for me to discern the difference between his and mine, even though we tuned mine just a little bass here, and it is, it's just it's just a little bass here. I think, um, you know, Russell and I were talking earlier today, um, what he did to the bracing to get that, that as much bass response as he could, and it did give a little bit more out of an OM style guitar, which is really a, a, really a cool thing. But um, I want to let you guys know that um, the microphones that I'm using um, I've just got a cheap Apex pencil condenser on the uh, 12th fret here. This mic you can pick up for like 49, 50 bucks. It's it's cheap as can be. I put it on the 12th fret and I angle it at a 45 degree angle because it picks up a lot of the upper frequencies that your ear hears, but that one microphone alone, like a big two condenser, is not going to pick up. So the um, the Audio Technica that I've got is the 3060, and I use the 3060 religiously on acoustic guitars on the bridge. Um, I also use this as a, a vocal mic for me as well in the studio. So it's a fantastic mic. Um, it does its job of picking up the lower uh, bass response because it does have a bigger diaphragm, and of course the two, the, excuse me, the pencil condenser does its job of picking up the upper frequencies. Now, just so that you know, I'm running into a Mo Motu 896 HD. I have no effects going into the guitar. I have nothing between the guitar and the analog converters. It is going straight from here to the analog converters and in the computer, and it's just recorded raw. So there's no effects. I'm not doing any compression. I'm doing any reverb. Nothing. It's what you hear is straight in the studio. So it's just a big sound. I did like a. If I play close to the bridge. I've got that. And unlike a dreadnought, uh, excuse me, a dreadnought or or even a um, or even a jumbo, a, a lot of times I find if I play on a on a guitar on a jumbo up in here around the neck, um, you tend to lose a lot of clarity. It just gets nothing but bass, that wolfy sound. But this one is manageable right in there. And then as you, I think you've got about a, a good range of, of really good tones to to pull from your palette. And of course you can always. You know, back it down if you want to get some of those type of sounds. And of course, finger picking these, these guitars are great. So, I've actually got uh, Russell has set uh, mine up to even play even better. Uh, his his action is a little higher than mine. I'm a uh, I'm a very uh, prissy guitar player, so I like my action to be really low. If I can pick on myself a little bit, I like to, my fingers, I want my fingers to feel real soft and tender. But uh, he's done a great job of, uh, his neck feels, has a really nice flat, but but nice neck to it. 
Um, so it's, uh, it gives you the, the impression that you can, even if you have small hands like me, you can really wrap your hand around it really good. So. sound now uh some of you guys have been following the build of this guitar on on russell and you've been sort of like watching what he's done in in, Cal in colorado and um russell is there anything else that you'd like me to talk to you about with the guitar i think you covered it man all right good, yeah good player makes the guitar sound good well i, I want to tell you guys too if you if you go to purchase one of our uh, kimberly's that all of the notes that i'm playing come with a guitar for free or we don't ever charge you any more for those notes um d major cost you a little bit more but other than that the rest of them are free so just want you to know that but uh this can't help try to sell <laughs> you, you know it mm -hmm. 